As the sun climbs in the sky, a soft-spoken farmer tends to his pigs in northwestern Iowa and tells us how he coordinates raising pigs with the needs of the land and his other farming ventures. We're kind of proud of, proud of this area. It, it's, it's excellent farm ground. Um, and we've adapted the hog operation to fit into our row cropping operation. It's, they're part of the rotation of the land. So the piglets go on existing hay ground, and then after they, they go off, then we plant it to corn. And so the pigs do the fertility for the corn, next year's corn. Dan Wilson is a Nyman Ranch pork producer, which essentially brings with it, among other things, some space and animal welfare requirements, things Dan was pretty much already doing before Nyman came along, so it was a natural fit for him. We have a, a pasture farrow to finish operation, and the piglets are born on pasture in the spring. They stay on pasture until usually about October, and then then they'll go in to the barns for the winter time when it's cold and snowy out. And then we farrow again the second time in August and September. Another batch of uh, moms will have baby pigs. And those will stay until October and then they'll go inside for the winter too. And they, they go into um, bed, bedded buildings and then they have outside access so they can run, run in and out both during the winter time. We've been pasture farrowing since 1966. And so we were on pasture and, and we really liked pasture. So when Nyman came along, it just fit our philosophy. It was, it was just uh, a really nice uh, match. We were, we were glad to find it. But we, we started with Nyman in 1998. So we didn't have to change much at all to be on the Nyman program. This pasture is set up for farrowing. Each sow chooses her own hut about a week before she gives birth. The huts also protect the pigs from the sun and rain. Nyman tends to use heritage breed pigs. We use a lot of Chester White, um, Berkshire. Those are old, old breeds on our rotation we are using Durox, which tends to be uh, a more modern breed of pigs, but we use the fattest Durox that we can find. You know, we concentrate on having some fat on our pigs, not lean, so and it's the fat that has the flavor. That flavor is what makes Iowa pork famous. Chefs across the state and across the nation plate up Iowa pork dishes in their restaurants. And this farmer doesn't just produce pork. I love bacon for breakfast. I love bacon, I love sausage. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of ham. I eat a lot of ham. We, we eat pork chops, always great. Um, and we do a lot of pork roasts. So we, we eat just about the whole pig, I guess. And I, and I love pork, so. As with any pork producer in Iowa, Dan has daily chores. Feeding these animals seems to be one of the big ones. Pig spends a lot of time eating. And they, they tend to eat early in the morning and late in the evening. And then they sleep a lot during the daytime. Quietly making a difference in our reputation as a great pork producing state. Farmer Dan Wilson likes what he does and plans to continue. I've raised pigs most of my life, so, and I enjoy it, so it, it, that's fun. <laughs>